Hi everyone, it's Angela from Happy Dotting Company. Today I'm finally going to share with you a project I've been working on for a really long time and I'm totally excited about it. So um, with most of my um, ideas and um, projects, you know, it came about because of a need that I wanted to fill myself with my own art. And um, so basically what I've made this time is mandala elements. So essentially what these are, they are the shapes that uh, go into making a mandala. So the combined shapes um, so that you can uh, create these beautiful mandalas with a combination of shapes that I've created in various sizes for you. So um, essentially what you'll end up with with this product is actually shapes like this, but there's many different shapes. And these are downloadable from our Etsy shop. Um, and they will come in both a SVG file and also a PDF. So if you are lucky enough to have a cutting machine, so I mean something like a, um, a Cricut or a Cricut Joy, then you will easily be able to upload these to the design space and then cut them out on some cardstock uh, using your cutting machine. However, don't worry if you don't, because you will also be able to use these shapes um, with uh, just you know tracing around them or um, using transfer paper to put them onto cardstock as well. So I'll be demonstrating that for you today in this clip. Um, so essentially the shapes can be made to you know help with making um, art, mandala art on your um, art stones that we provide at Happy Dotting Company you know, from the moulds that we make. Um, but you can also use them on cards and, um, uh, you know, like, sorry, I was going to say, um, you know, like large paper or um, canvas that you can do mandala art on as well. So anyway, um, bear with me and um, I'm going to give you some demonstrations of what this can do. So enjoy. When you look at the listings for the mandala elements, you'll see that they print a PDF, which will come out like this, and you'll see all the different um, sizes that you get within the one shape. And then there's many different listings for the different shapes. So the idea is that you will be able to find the shape that you're looking for to actually uh, incorporate into your mandala um, just with what's on the page. I mean, if you're using a Cricut design space, then you can actually resize them as well. Um, but um, you probably won't need to, depending on your project. And um, the idea is that you will actually, just, this is just um, one shape, but you know, essentially you're gonna end up with these little cardboard cutouts, which I'll demonstrate for you later in the video. Um, so I've actually um, labeled these the same as those so I know what size I'm looking for and I'm hoping that um, these will be of great benefit to people who actually enjoy writing patterns um, for people to follow either on YouTube or in their classes um, you know it's a great thing to do not everybody is um, you know um, so creative as others and like to actually follow along with patterns and that's brilliant to provide this for people too so I'll show you how to um, use a Cricut to cut these out, or if you have an alternate machine, you know, like a Brother variety or something like that. But like I said, I'll also show you how to just, um, you know, cut out by hand or transfer with transfer paper onto some cardstock. I do recommend using medium cardstock. It just sort of gives it a little bit of um, flexibility, but not too much, ideally. So my Cricut Maker has just done its thing and you can see that it's cut these shapes out beautifully. So I can use them in my mandala. Now I've got a 
not a Cricut maker. However, they are designed to fit in the space of a um, Cricut Joy as well, which is obviously the um, smaller and cheaper version of the um, Cricut cutting machines. So um, this is one option for you, but there are other options as well. So one option is just to cut out the um, little shapes with a um, sharp pair of scissors and then basically trace around the shapes onto the um, art that you want to do to create the um, mandala. Another option is that you can have some transfer paper. This is some graphite paper and to transfer it onto some cardstock. So again, this is some medium cardstock. You could just lay down your graphite paper or transfer paper and actually trace around the shape and then cut it out. So I'm doing this from a bit of a distance because I'm filming at the same time and my camera is in the way. So. Mine may end up a little bit wonky because I haven't got it straight under me. So there's the shape and then I can cut that out and then it is actually on cardstock. So I just want to give you some examples of um, how to use these. So this one is a um, mandala on an art stone one that I've been working on. Um, so the art stone is made from the moulds that we sell and um, at Happy Dotting Company. Um, and I've, as you can see, I've done a little bit of work on it and I just want to show you how I trace around these. So the idea is to get it into the right place and then... This is a um, chalk pencil, which is erasable. I'm just going to go around the shape there. Like that. And then what I might do is actually get a smaller one and line that up to give me a couple of rows. Can be a really nice effect. be a little bit tricky to hold it but it's not too bad there you go so that essentially gives me um, some guidelines and I can do that all the way around um, that I can then put my next row on and then I can use another mandala element to actually finish it off here is what I'm thinking I'll do but I'll show you this one when it's complete. I want to show you some other ways to use these mandala elements as well. This is a um, sort of like a, a more sort of flat um, surface made from our multi mold um, and as you can see this one's still in progress so how I started this one is I actually used our um, Superflex silicon um, stencil and I initially laid it over it and then marked the um, segments but then I used the mandala elements to make these shapes so this shape here is called teardrops as you can see I've traced around those making sure that it's all perfectly symmetrical using the um, the other stencil marks like that and then um, for these little shapes here I just use the um, the India wide um, mandala elements and just went right around like that and then again out on the outside here just using a smaller one 
Um, so that's how I've done that one and I'll be able to show you this one later when I've finished it. All done. So this is just a um, cardstock bookmark that I'm working on and we're going to actually have some of these available in our Etsy shop too soon. Um, and um, so you'll see those listed, but um, essentially I've just started this with one of our stencils by just popping that in the center there and lining it up. And then I drew through the stencils using my erasable chalk pencil. But I just wanted to demonstrate how these mandala elements can be used on this as well. So I'm just trying to make that nice and even and I think that looks pretty good. And just lightly follow that around there. I'm going to do the same on this side. I thought I'd put this one, which is the smaller one. So the, these um, mandala elements are called Indian Narrows because there's different um, widths in these as well, different shapes. So you can just see how that makes a nice um, symmetrical design there. So obviously, um, you know, this is uh, cardstock, but it can also be done on a um, big canvas as well. Just to finish, I wanted to talk about um, storage of these, um, you know, collection of mandala elements. And, you know, one idea is obviously just to put them in a little um, either envelope or, you know, Ziploc bag or something like that to keep them together. Um, but I just wanted to show you another couple of ideas that I had to, you know, keep them sort of more displayed. Um, one idea is that um, I've actually attached these mandala elements to, um, it, it's like a piece of plastic or acetate um, or a piece of mylar, basically a, a thin plastic sheet. Um, and I sprayed a bit of tacky spray on it. Um, and that sort of works quite well because it just sort of keeps them in place and then I put them in this folder with some sleeves. Um, so that's one option. If you happen to have some uh, tacky spray, then obviously that's, um, you know, something that you can do just as long as it's, uh, in, you know, somewhere where you can actually easily take them in and out so that you can keep using them. Um, the other option, and it's probably my favourite option, is actually I bought a... Um, a set of refills which are actually photo album refills and essentially made them into sort of like a little booklet so I made myself a little um, cover sheet here and then I have them um, sorry about the lighting um, just have them sort of displayed like this and essentially with these albums you can just you know peel them back take the piece out that you want and use it and then put it back and you know it just sort of reseals so that keeps them nice and tidy and well displayed too so that you know I can keep using them for other projects so anyway I, um, I hope that gives you some ideas for storage Thank you for watching everyone. Um, you know, please check the description box below. You'll see the link to our Etsy shop, which will have a discount um, in this uh, description box under the YouTube clip. However, please understand that if you are a member of our website, meaning if you're a subscriber, 
then um, you will get a big discount with every product launch that we do. And we don't very often send the emails out. It's only when we have a notification or subscription um, discount to send. So our website is happy.incompany.com. Um, so it's of real benefit to be a subscriber. Um, look, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're looking for more tips and tricks and um, product launches. So um, have a great day and um, keep dotting. Thanks.